I thought I would do the blog from the new office I keep going on about. Um, looks alright, doesn't it? But for, for what you can see, um, I'm just about to get some bunting put up by the lovely lady Pippa from Central Bunting in Garforth. She's going to do me some nice colours to go round the room to make it not look so masculine. Or as my son calls it, my lady cave. Not the right word to use, and I hope he doesn't go around saying that at school. Anyway, um, I can hear very loudly that the uh, yes teachers are shouting and screaming because they've left school for six whole weeks. Ta da! The teachers, so great, so brilliant. I couldn't do your job. No thanks, not for love and money. Especially my children's teachers uh, this year who have undertook the uh, or undertaken the year six SATs tests. Um, yeah. Hats off to you because there is no way I could go through that stress with all the kids that were also very stressed But well, that's another story. So well done teachers to getting through um, bottle flipping and spinny spinners and uh, Dabbing uh, which I equally as a parent has found very annoying. So well done. You've got through another year uh, Until September. So let's hope the six weeks goes nice and slow and you can turn the alarm clock off and think blissful thoughts and have Lots of wine and lots of drink and lots of days out with your loved ones. So, uh, Garfeast, that's what we're going to talk about first, because obviously last week was our first Garfeast festival. <sighs> we were so chuffed at how it went. You always arrange these things or book these things or have these ideas, and there's always that little bit of intrepidation is about what it's going to be like, um, what people are going to think of it, are people going to turn up? and you didn't disappoint community. Um, you really did come and help. And I've got a fly in my room. Get out, fly. Um, <clears throat> you came along, you enjoyed the fun, you enjoyed the music, you enjoyed the 13 stalls, which were unique, not duplicated, and they all did marvelously well. All the cafes did brilliantly. All the people that helped us were fantastic, like Royal Family Design doing our t-shirts, Funky Muppets offering balloons. Um, we had so much help from uh, the community and local businesses uh, and the local businesses that are, are good really, really, really helped and they saw the benefit of it. Um, and I'm hoping next year we can get some more people uh, on Main Street or around Main Street uh, coming on board because it was successful and so far, and touch wood, and I'm sure, well, there may be yet to come, but uh, we haven't had any complaints. Um, that doesn't mean you can just sort of get on social media from Garforth and use the events and Garforth gossip and just say what you like because we don't want to hear it. Uh, it might be tempting fate there. But so far, it's all been very positive. Um, and we sat down uh, on when Tuesday evening uh, with some gin and uh, some lovely food um, and lots of nibbles. And we had a great discussion about uh, what could be improved, what could we do next year, and some really exciting things uh, coming on board. Uh, the team, the small team got together who were fairly instrumental in, in making sure it happened. Um, and then we've got the bigger team meeting uh, in August with all the people that were involved to see, you know, get their input as well and how they thought the day went and how they think we could improve on next year. And I'll always get involved in anything that brings community and business together. That's the ethos uh, behind the main deal, as you know, to bring them two people or two things together successfully. And the community know what the business are doing and the business like are hearing or listening to the community. And we can do great things with it. And the Gar Festival proved that it can work. Um, and some ideas that were passed about on um, Tuesday evening were rather, rather cool. And I'm quite liking it. All I'm going to say is rude veg, um, give you a bit of a clue. So uh, there's lots that can come from it and we're hoping to um, go just as good if not better next year. So um, please do, I mean, if you've got any constructive criticism, send me an email, christine at the main deal .co .uk. Um, You know, tell us what you thought of it. Did you make it? Did you hear about it? We can always improve on, on, on what we do. So send me an email and let me know, but like I said, constructive criticism please um i've just seen the most bizarre thing in the world and i keep seeing it when i'm in the office uh, very large dogs huge huge dogs with lots of hair and i'm quite convinced that the men dressed up and they're not actually dogs because they're so big 
um, and they always catch my eyes. They walk past and there's a few of them. So I'm sorry if you own these dogs, but God, they're, they're just huge. They're, the men just don't, I don't care what you say, they are. Um, I will, uh, at the end of this blog, uh, on the actual website under the link where you're looking, I will put um, details of what's on over the summer holidays. Uh, there's quite a few things going on locally. I've just put loads of events on our Facebook page of the library. There's about eight events, I think, between the end of July and the beginning of September. Lotherton Hall will have a Porsche or Porsche, however you pronounce it, event on Sunday. Also with a lot of other things going on over the holidays, so that's not too far away. Um, and then we've got some um, a Micklefield um, uh, children's event. Again, I'll put that up so you can see. We've also got the Mini Breeze event. And also look at Leeds List uh, or Leeds Inspired. I find they're really good. And also Independent Leeds. Uh, just search them on, on Google and you'll find them or on Facebook or Twitter or Instagram. Um, they are really, really good with regards to what's on now, what's due on, where you know what can be found locally so once you've once you've done all the local things um go and have a look and see what's further afield because as a parent um trying to cater for children and it not be too expensive is always that is always quite difficult um during the summer holidays um and also i always find that if you look on youtube undo under life hacks or um, things to do with the children that are free. They come up with loads of ideas. Moving on from um, things to do, um, I'm going to go on to uh, Main Street again. And I've mentioned it before and I'm going to mention it again. Please stop moaning! Uh, <laughs> there's nothing we can do about it. Yeah, it can be frustrating at times, but unless you've got a massive pocket with a load of doshing that you're going to kindly donate and then volunteer and do the project that's driving you insane about the parking and the fact that there's lorries parking and delivery and there's so many people look there's not a lot we can do about it and i'm the most optimistic person in the world and i have been trying all by my little self to try and talk to uh, highways to see if there's stuff we can do about church lane uh, and I keep caught up against brick walls. So there's myself and the lovely Phil Barrett who came up with an idea about how we could use the top land uh, um, Main Street, which is crying out for a car park. And it has been for years and there's been lots of ups and downs and it's been like this to try and get it as a car park for lots of reasons, some political, some not. Um, and unless the landlord or the landowner wants to sell, there's not a lot we can do about it. Um, I am trying, we are trying. But please just stop going onto social media and moaning about it. There's nothing that can be done. All it does is create a thread of angry people uh, and actually no solutions resolved at the bottom of it. Um, and I just look and I just look, be positive. We've got High Street that's really busy. It's not really that bad trying to get up it. I go up to Main Street most days, probably more than most, unless I, you know the traders, obviously they're more than I am. But we've got a busy High Street uh, and I always manage to park somewhere. Um, it's not that difficult. Generally behind the green growth, this is fine because you can only stay for an hour and a half. So the, the rolling of traffic will come and go. So more often than not, you can get a parking space. I'm not really on Main Street more than an hour and a half. And if I am, I'll park further field and walk. Um, it's if the only way of getting around it is to uh, the shops to be empty. Uh, and then we have a really, really easy place to park because there's nothing there to come to and then we could uh, have a really easy access to get up to Main Street because there'll be nobody there and um, a bit like some other towns that are close by um, when a town dies because there's no nothing there to bring or um, an audience or a, a, a footfall then you can park and then you can drive past easily and you can tra drive up the road why does everybody strive for perfection I want to be able to get up that road in 10 seconds without having to dodge traffic We've got three pedestrian crossings, um, so at some point you can cross. If you decide to cross in between that and it's difficult and you nearly get run over and then you get hit, then that's on the onus of you, surely, to maybe cross on the crossing where you're not going to get hit. Um, I came out the other day of one car park and an old guy decided that he was going to pull out by Genix, reverse onto the main road. Then he mounted the curb and then drove off. So what? Yeah. Bit of a divvy, but it's not going to like harm my day. It's fine. People do stupid things. It might take five seconds longer 
to sort of get up Main Street. It might mean that you have to wait for a car park space for a little bit. Stop moaning! There's nothing we can do about it. Um, unless the council just comes and finds loads of like free money and then gives it out and then and then makes what? What we're gonna do? Build like a massive tall um car park somewhere. Um in fact, why don't we just do a crowdfunding source for for money to make stuff? Because ultimately, it is us that has created this, isn't it? We have more cars. We have more families. We're staying where we are. Our family's grown. They all have cars. Um, yes, there is some, uh, um, you know, arguments about should we have it a short stay so not people commuting have, have to park there. Probably. But we still need money to do that. We still need money to put them signs up. We still need money to... And make that happen and people just think that we could come up with an idea send it to the council and it'll just happen it's not gonna um so you just have to get on with it until at that time they decide that there is that right to the local councillors i'm sure they're just as frustrated as us but what will it ultimately do they could go and do the same as us be cut out the middleman go direct to the council and go look this is causing havoc in main street which i have done myself doesn't there's no money um and we have to sort of get over that really um and i'm not ranting i'm just there's just no point losing energy and wasting time on social media ranting about the same thing and then every another couple of weeks it will come up again about oh, it's so bad to park and oh, i'm just losing the will to go up main street 